Are you looking to create a month's worth of content in just a few hours? I have a content creation hack that is going to save you valuable time and get you ahead in your content game. The best part, you can do it with content you already have. So really, what we're doing in today's video is creating multiple pieces of social content and repurposing all at once. No matter what platform you're planning to focus on, you can use this method. Let's get into it. <laughs> Before we get started, you're going to need four things. Canva, ChatGPT, content that has worked well for you in the past, and a free metrical account. Let's start with your pieces of content. Take a look at your analytics and identify your top performing content based on whatever metric is the most valuable to you. From here, ask yourself, what makes these pieces of content good content? Was it a strong hook? Did it provide valuable information? Was it engaging? We essentially want to replicate that and improve it to get even better results. A quick little metric tip for you, if you don't know where to begin with identifying your top performing content, you can use Metrical's analytics across all of your connected social platforms. Instead of jumping between multiple apps analytics, you can just select a time frame in Metricool and there you have all of your top posts. Now that I've identified the content that I want to replicate, I've chosen 10 top posts and it's time to head to ChatGPT. We're going to have ChatGPT rework the copy on these 10 posts. There are actually multiple ways you can do this and endless opportunities for different prompts. For my example, I'm going to choose one of the posts, identify the hook, and then the prompt I am going to try is rework this hook in 10 different ways. Once you input that into the AI, it's going to pop out 10 different answers. And really all that's left to do is to tweak it to fit your brand tone and voice. And look at that. Now you have 10 new ways to present that one piece of content. And like I said before, don't be afraid to try out different prompts. Let's say you like the hooks, but you want them to be a bit more casual, or maybe you want them to be a bit more professional. Type that in again, rework the hook in a casual tone, and there you go. You can keep doing that over and over again until you get your desired results. To save you even more time, we're going to introduce the power of a CSV file. We're big fans of them here at Metropool. If you're unfamiliar with a CSV file, don't worry. I'll show how to export multiple pieces of content in that file type. And I promise it's easier than it sounds. So now what you're going to do is go ahead and open up a Google Sheet and paste in all of those reworked hooks. Now head back to ChatGPT and repeat the process with the same prompt and another piece of content until you have a sizable list. Remember that you can add different custom instructions for each piece of content that you want to repurpose. The more the better so your content bowl is as big as possible. Once you've done this a number of times and you're happy with your list, it's time to export it as a CSV file. I promise that this will make sense in a second. To do that, you're gonna go to File, Download, and choose CSV File Type. Once you've exported the CSV file, now we're going to head to Canva. In this step, you're going to bulk create content so you can schedule multiple pieces of content at once. Here you have a few options. You can either find a template that's already pre-made in Canva or you can create one of your own. I'm gonna go ahead and use a Canva template that's already been created. Once you've chosen a template, head to apps on the left-hand side and you're going to scroll down to bulk create. In bulk create, you're going to click on upload data. So this is where your CSV file comes in. Canva will read your file and ask you where on the template you want that data to be imported in. Choose a spot on your template, right click and hit connect data. You're going to click continue and then click generate and you'll start to see all of your different content imported into that Canva design. For me, this is all of the different hooks that I was playing around with and I immediately have multiple pieces of content to work with. Now remember, similar to ChatGPT, it's not going to be 100% perfect right away. Depending on the template, you're going to be needing to make some tweaks, make some edits to fix your branding, add more detail, and you're done. The best part about this hack is you can do it with old content that you know performs well, evergreen content that has longevity on social media, and if you're deep in a content rut, you can use AI to generate more prompts and use those accordingly. The opportunities for bulk content creation are endless. If you were to give this hack a full hour, just imagine how much content you can come up with. 
And just as a final step and to wrap everything up super nicely, you can use Medrigal to import your Canva designs directly into your planner. Look at how easy that workflow is. Not only can you export directly from Canva into the planner, you can also access your Canva designs directly within the Metropole Planner using our Canva integration. Click on the Media Center tab, and from there, it's going to ask you whether you want to use Google Drive or Canva. Click into Canva, establish that Canva connection, and there are all of your Canva designs that you just created. And now you can just drag and drop an import into your planner for easily scheduling. And if you thought that was it, I'll leave you with one more thing. If you like this method of creating content, but you're more of a short form video type of person, don't worry, I have you covered there too. We have a short form video workbook that will help you create 100 videos with minimal stress and in record time. I'll make sure to leave the link for you in the description box. I hope that this video sparked some inspiration in you and motivated you to create more content. Any questions, make sure to leave them below and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked the content. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye Metricooler!